Hey everybody and welcome to Battleship in the Coordinate Plane, this time GeoGebra style. The creation of this was inspired by reading a blog article from Alice Keeler entitled Game-Based Learning, Google Slides Coordinate Plane Battleship. So this uh, game right here is played literally just like the old Milton Bradley game Battleship. I played that game when I was a kid and many, many of us did. But basically you have five ships and the goal is to sink all these five ships. Okay, there they are right there. And so, obviously, when you uh, play, if any of you played uh, the old-fashioned game, right, with the pegs in the holes, you had a game board. So you positioned your ships, and you could do so right here. These large white points on the ends, these uh, allow you to move the ships. One of the, one of the end points allows you to move it where you want in the plane. The other one allows you to turn it. And by the way, obviously, you know, the ships can't be diagonal, right? So, therefore, they could either be horizontal or vertical and that yellow end point is just a little reminder to say yeah just keep it the way it should be so um, at the very beginning of the game you and your opponent each take your game boards here and you put these ships anywhere you want again you cannot uh, cross ships that's not allowed okay in fact that would not be a smart idea on your part because they could win uh, faster but again let's suppose this is it okay my game board now you obviously want to uh, sink your opponent's ships first so when you obviously you want to mark a location as well too so when you play this game you need to not only state the quadrant uh, in which the point you're stating is but you need to state the coordinates in the correct order so for example let's say I'm gonna guess this location right here okay so I would tell my opponent quadrant one uh, one comma four and my opponent would tell me hit or miss if it most likely it's going to be a miss and if that's the case just touch the point tool and Plot a point there. And a white peg is going to indicate a miss. Okay? However, let's suppose, uh, let's suppose on the next turn you guess, uh, hey, your next turn you say uh, quadrant 2, negative 3, comma 2. Well, that's right here, right? And let's suppose your opponent says it's a hit. Okay, so what you do now is you plot the point. It turns white. It's white, obviously. So touch the move arrow. Touch the point. Okay, and then go to the style bar right here. And where you see this white, that's the color palette you could change it to red. So in, often in the old game Battleship, a red peg indicated that, indicated to you that, hey, I have a hit. And so now, um, obviously, I could try to, um, you know, sink a ship. So let's suppose uh, once you end up sinking a ship, right, let's suppose you sink your opponent's, I don't know, uh, submarine. I think the submarine was three units long, right? Once you know, w once you sink uh, your opponent's ship, your opponent has to announce, ah, you just sunk my submarine. So now you know, hey, that ship is sunk. So therefore, you can use the segment tool, touch one endpoint to another, and then quickly turn that tool off. And now you know that you have one less ship to sink within the course of this game. Okay? So again, the object of the game is to sink all five of your opponent's ships before he or she sinks all five of yours. And if you wish to keep track of your opponent's guesses, you very well, you very well can. Um, this, uh, let's say your opponent guesses these locations here, right? You can kind of keep track of what your opponent's game board sort of looks like if you choose to. Not everybody does, but that's just there as an added convenience. And if, and if your opponent, say, guesses, uh, oh, hey, quadrant two, negative three, comma four, and for you, that's a hit, right? So in that case, you can always color that red. If you, you can always touch that point and color it red if you wish to keep track of your opponent's hits and or misses. So, there you go. Have at it. Have fun. And uh, yeah, enjoy.